Hello friends, first of all, I welcome you all to the MM, MM Deem to be University. I welcome you as a student, as you all have enrolled into the one or another online course. In this video, I will try to tell you how to work with the LMS of the online platform, right? And for this, first of all, open the website using the URL using the address that is online.mmumulana.org you will get this you can use it you can use any browser but better you go with the chrome first of all click on this enroll now right as you are already the user of this platform so please click on the second option that is instead of this go for this already have an account login go for this provide your email address that you have given to the university and then write the password right click on the login right it will send an sms of course once you verify and for the verification please give some time and click on this i am not a robot this captcha it will ask for uh, the queries in case this matches hmm. just wait Man mountains or hills this one this one this one I think that's all. Once you have verified, once you have checked the capture, then click on this send OTP. Once you have click on this send OTP, you will get the message on your registered phone. It might take some time, so please wait, have patience. This is only for your security. Right, so I have got my OTP on my registered phone number. I am just uh, entering that. That is 973636. Confirm it. Just wait. I might be using the wrong. Now let's uh, use the OTP that I have received. And that is not this one. Sometimes this is the problem that you might face. So please check out. You might have received some other, uh, or you might have received this OTP as the first one. So four eight four five two zero. Confirm it. Now it is a valid OTP. Now you will get this screen. In this screen, on the left hand side, you have a number of uh, tabs using which you can go for home, you can check out the courses, right? You can check out the exams, you can go for the live sessions. I will try to explain them one by one. First of all, let's go to home. This is the first dashboard that you will get. This contains a lot of information. On the right hand side, it is giving you the information about the pending fees as well as it is giving the last date. So try to uh, submit your fees before this date, right? Then it is giving a number, uh, the information about the elective subjects as well as the calendar, right? Calendar will consist of uh, information as well. Here uh, in the middle, we are with the analytics that is, it will give us the information about the attendance, courses enrolled, trivia, exams, of course, you will understand the concept of trivia once you will go for the live, uh, live classes or the doubt classes. Of course, this is the information about the live sessions or the course, right? In case you are enrolled in one of the subject, of course, right now you are enrolled in six subjects. So this list will come here. In case you are enrolled, you are not enrolled in any subject, you will get here as zero. And please scroll down. Please scroll down. 
this is the one subject where you have not enrolled please click on the start to get the enrollment right as you have already paid the fees so right now it is a free course at least free written free but it is otherwise you have paid the uh, fees semester fees to so click on the start and you will uh, land into the course right here you can check the content you can uh, your contents are uh, distributed provided to you week uh, on the basis of week by week containing a number of information like w1 l1 l1 means it will be a lecture or it will be a video lecture please go through this then we are with the content to this that it is the pdf files content to then we are with the doubt class in case that class is scheduled for example this class was scheduled for 17th of october so so you might have not attended no problem but in case the class is scheduled you will guess you will get a message you will get a text box or a button using which you can join this class on the same pattern we are with the quizzes you have already attended this exam as well as your score is this one so in this way you can enter into one of the any of the course and you can continue with your courses week 1 week 2 right week 2 l1 this uh, the content of this course or this uh, lecture is c introduction right then content are there then doubt class is there then quizzes are there right the quiz time is there as well you can go through this and on top here you will get the progress of your course right now i have not attempted anything so the course progress is zero to eligible to appear in the end semester exam your progress must be 75% right so please keep on checking this right once you have started a course this course will come here right once you have started you can go for the continuation of this okay another this is the way using which you can work with any of the course that is assigned to you as well as you have started it right courses itself also give you the information about the different courses that are available to you in case you have started it it will go with this in case you have not started it yet so it will go with this to so click on the start button in case you have already started click on the continue button right the progress is here as well then this exam tab will give us the information about the quizzes or the end semester exam as well as it will give us the information about this brief information about the quiz or the exam then the live session will provide us the list of the live sessions that are due right now nothing is due nothing is this right reason being i am working with a bca test that is a uh, dummy student that is a student for testing purposes next we come to the payment in case you want to check out the payment of course here too you will get the information all your information about the payments in case you have paid some fees for the semester fees or the enrollment fees so that will come here 
with the date, payment gateway, reason, amount and status. Right? Next come the timetable. Right? The timetable will give you the information about the all the activities with the timestamp. Okay? Here you can go for uh, I want to keep the information of exam and sessions only. So it will give us the information of exams and session only. I want to have the information about the sessions only. So it will give us the information about the session. Let us stop the session. Nothing is ok, just wait. Yeah, you must have you must have to select something, at least one. That is why it was a fail, right. In case you have selected exam, so it is giving you the two exams are there that are scheduled in the month of October, right. In case I leave it, you are getting the message, fields are required. That means you have to select at least one of this. In case you are selecting assignment, so there is no problem and it is giving us the information that there is one assignment that is due or that was due in this month. Includes sessions, so assignment as well as sessions are available. Only sessions are available. It is giving us the information about that. Next we go back to the dashboard. Timetable is okay, timetable is clear. Next is the classroom, right. You are the part of which class? This is the class that you are the part of, right. Where you can post your queries? Is that okay? Okay, let me repeat it. This is the classroom or I will say this is the forum using which you can interact with your uh, classmates or you can interact with your teachers, right. For this join BCA and here you have to post it. That is when our classes will commence just post it. Right. Anybody from the department or anybody from your classmates can answer it. Let us go back and then come back to the class again. Let us see, is, do we have this query here? Yes, this is there. You can click on load more in case somebody is parallelly working with this, so load more will give us that information. Nothing is there, so we can go back to the dashboard, you can check it out. Help and support, of course I will take it, I will tell it to you later on, but in the meanwhile, I hope the point to work with the LMS is clear, right. In case of any query, we have created one group with each program coordinator as the admin to this. So they will try to resolve or our technical team will try to resolve this queries, right. I hope this will uh, clear all your doubt. In case of doubt, you can put your queries into the WhatsApp group initially or you can make the use of this concept of classroom. Thank you.